I'll show you this little marketing secret that we used to build the largest music school in New Zealand and then used it to build the most successful uh, coaching program for music schools in the world. I build a music school program and you can use this, just replicate it in your studio no matter what size you're at and it's really simple and it's a lot of fun actually um, and it's a, a tactic that a lot of people don't use but there's four steps and you've got to do all four steps um, and follow it through. That's the key thing is being consistent. So step one is you've obviously got to get a student, right? Or get a customer. Uh, so we write that down, get a student. So top of the circle, get a student, right? So you've got to get the first one going. Then the next thing is obviously get a student results. <laughs> so you need to be able to get students obviously to be able to do something cool, like perform something, do a track, play a song, you know, uh, jam in a band, whatever it is. You got to get a, a result that is visually, you know, and audibly great that they are excited about and looks great on camera. And so then, once you've got a student a result, you need to get a testimonial. Get a testimonial. And so you want to do that with a video. So there's our first three steps. Um, get a get a student. Get students results atrocious handwriting sorry guys and, and then get a testimonial a, a quick trick about getting testimonials is when you're filming someone you want to ask them a few fun questions first just to get them uh, comfortable on camera so you'd be like hey um tell me your name and how long you've been playing the drums cool and then if it's a young kid you might say something like uh, if I won lotto, the first thing that I would buy is this, you know, oh, all the chocolate in the world. Um, my favorite food is hamburgers. You know, just a few questions. You're not going to use them. You're just going to loosen them up. And then you give them prompts for things to say. Because um, if you say something like, what do you like about piano lessons? They can get like, oh, I, don't, I don't know. But if you say, all right, I want you to start with this sentence. My favorite thing about learning the piano is and then you fill in the blank. Give them a moment to think about it, and you get a testimonial. So basically, you're gonna ask a bunch of cool questions, and then you're gonna get a bunch of photos, videos of them playing, stitch it together to be a great testimonial, right? Now, the, the final step that people don't do very well is the fourth step, and you have to leverage the testimonial. And that's the fourth step, right? So you've got to leverage the, the testimonial, which then gets you another customer, right? And so you've got to think, okay, well, how can I leverage this testimonial? Great, I need a, a good video. Okay, well, where, what can I do with that video? Well, I can share it on social media, obviously. Um, there's things like, a lot of people don't even utilize YouTube. It's like, well, YouTube is a big search engine. So it's not just uh, Google people, uh, when they're looking for lessons, it's not just Google listings and pages it shows, it also does show videos. So um, if you wanna use keywords that people are searching, like if you teach in Toronto, it's like, you know, um, music lessons in Toronto, you know, uh, highlight reel from such and such student or testimonial from Rachel Jones whatever it is you can use these videos to drive up search traffic to your website um, another thing you want to be building a bit of an email list so a great way to do that we've talked about on other videos is you want to have an info pack so when people come to your website they download a little info pack so you get their name and their email and if they don't sign up for lessons they're on your list and you can send out uh, you know a new testimonial every month or every two weeks and so people are seeing the cool stuff that your school is doing that's building FOMO fear of missing out reminding people that you ex you exist it may not have been the right time to join you when they first inquired but we have people with build a music school that sign up um, to our email list and they decide hey it's not the right time for me and then they join us one two three years later if we only sent them stuff in that first week um, and didn't continue reminding them about how amazing it is and all the successes, uh, success stories people have, if we didn't leverage these testimonials here, they wouldn't become a customer because we'd just leave them to it. So you want to have a list and you want to send it out. So there's a few things, you know, you're going to post on your social media, you'll add it to YouTube, looking for search terms that are going to help your school uh, to rank when people are searching for lessons in your area. You're going to uh, build your email list and send, you know, try send one testimonial, testimonial every month with, hey, if you enjoyed this and you'd like to join us for lessons, here's a little voucher or here's a promotion we're running. And if you change that up, you get better results as well. So that's, that's basically what we call like the, um, you know, the circle of cash. You get a customer, you get them results, you get a testimonial from them and you leverage that testimonial 
and that gets you a new customer and you just repeat the process and so you have to have systems for this and you have to implement it so each part is actually working you're ticking things off you don't film something and then it lands in a google folder and you never touch it again you actually do leverage it you do a great job of leveraging it in five seven different places and you do that consistently 99% of other music schools and teachers are not doing that at all and so just over time that consistency you will kick everyone else's butt that's what we've done with good time music academy how we grew from zero to 2000 the next biggest music school in the area is maybe 400 students we've done it with build a music school um and you can do it the same for your studio hope that helps like and subscribe if you want more helpful videos like this